Okay, this is our setup. I didn't see this on YouTube, so I'm doing it myself. Here we have a cockroach. And here we have some, not cornstarch, but kind of starch. And we will mix it with water and see what happens. This is our mixture. I'm not sure if I use too less water, but it seems like this is not as sticky as cornstarch, the real cornstarch, because I used different starch. But um, we'll see how it works. I will cut a hole here, so the cockroach can only... Oh, look, it pooped, actually. Um, the cockroach can only go outside, inside the stuff. Let's see how this works. We got a hole. We got a full hole that's open now, so she can come out. Okay. I'm a bit too scared. It seems like she can walk on itself. And she doesn't want to come out. It. It's afraid. I'm also pretty afraid. And we hope it will fall down. I hope it will fall down there. Come on, baby. And she goes, maybe the hole is too small, no? Oh, no, damn it. This is exactly what we didn't want. Oh, now it's inside. Okay, and it can go outside. It lost one leg, apparently, when we tried to catch it. It just fell down a second time, but didn't matter at all. Just walked up out again. Just put some, put some cornstarch over it. And it seemed to like it. It's a little bit covered in cornstarch, so we will pour a little bit of water over it while it's heating. And check out the reaction. Get clean again. The movement got a little bit slower since it was covered. But it still doesn't get stuck. I think it's apparently it got indeed stuck. Uh, okay, we're not. We don't know. We don't know. This will require a lot more time. Okay. Funny thing is, I think the cockroach is halfway dying and still eating. Okay. So when water is coming through, she's always moving again. I don't know why. So we have full. Just a few water, just a little water around the cockroach, but when I now put the water back, well, it's just because it runs over its head. But you see the, you see the head moving? I think it's actually eating the stuff. So we will have to watch out for another day or two to see what actually happens to the cockroach. It keeps sinking in, or if it just eats on lives on and frees itself finally okay it's doing a really good job freeing itself it got out completely out now although it was struggling a lot um about i don't know 10 to 15 minutes passed by and we will try to drop it down again okay after i managed to smash it down again um it could free itself again what is this An idea is that the water that is actually on top of the starch is washing away the starch that is on the cockroach and therefore helps the cockroach to actually get out. So it will be very helpful if there would be no water on top of the cockroach. Okay, my theory about the water seems to be pretty good. It, it, it looks like dying at the moment. Um, I was told that maybe it's because it can't breathe, I'm not sure though, but when I pour water over it, then as you can see it starts to move again and it looks pretty alive. Okay, I came back around two weeks later than I expected, left it alone for two weeks and it's still living. The starch is um, yeah, solid now, 
Uh, apparently it ate starch and there was still enough liquid to make it not die. So the result for at least this one is um, has no effect.